So they'll be calling you a radical. I just wanted to get a video, a quick video up. I got to tell this story. What a story. So yesterday, that tire, that old vehicle I bought from that guy, Beater. So I dig out the jack, no lug wrench, you know, and got to have a small lug wrench. Can't find a lug wrench. I'm asking people, different people, no, no, anything. So finally these two young guys show up and the one guy I look and he's you know he's got his he's sleeved out and he's got the one arms tattooed in LA and the other down the arm it says 49 I says now that's an oxymoron that tattoo and he says yeah so anyway I says hey you know I just moved here from LA I says you guys got a lug wrench I says it's got to be one of them small ones this takes a weird one his homie in the vehicle with him. Let me look. He looks. Gives me sure shit it works. So we start talking. I start taking the tire apart. By the way, it was slit. That's the third one. Third one that's been slit. Now, I don't know if it's just coincidence. Maybe there was something on the sidewall that's going bad. But, again, could not be replaced. 180 to $3.00. But anyway, we start talking. He sees the survivor bracelet on my arm. I says, I says yeah. He says, lymphoma? I says, yeah, non Hodgkin's lymphoma AML. He says, my dad died from it. I says, how long ago? Just a couple years ago, four years ago. I says, no. He says, here, let me help you. Me and him got the tire off. He says, let me drive you down to this. We go to the tire store, he waited, he loaded up, we talked. Again, it's my thesis since the day I got sick. The angels have been murdered by the nuclear cartel. Oh, they watch out over me. I mean, with a little help from my friends, I'll get by. It happens over and over and over. I fly to places, ain't got no place to stay, ain't got no money. I mean, I'm in places sometimes I don't even know where I'm at. It's always one angel. It's always one angel shows up. Always one. It's an amazing story. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, which I have literally now almost nine years, if people even knew this path, how hardcore and brutal. I fear no evil. And I've been in the belly of the beast, and you don't even know the evil that I faced. My own freaking family members ripped off my family inheritance while I'm in critical condition. My own state politicians attacked me, cut me off while tried to kill me. My own government, you know, the son of a special forces marine, who gave his life. My uncle raised me on my beach. The Mormon church, who without my grandfather, there is no Mormon church, abused the hell out of me, attacked me. I don't know how I've done it, but I, I was thinking about it last night. I almost started to cry. Me and my grandson watched The Rookie yesterday, and I'm like, what a fucking story. I feel so much like that, and, you know, thank you to everybody who has supported this historic work. I mean, I don't know how I've done it. Well, I've done it because of you, you know, and I'm not going to quit. I mean... That's the deal. That's the deal, right? That's the deal. <sighs> Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil. He lay me down. I'm burned out, dried out. Fluctonium fire. Where'd you sleep last night? Dead trees, pastures. He anoint my head with dead humpback well, gray well oil. He guide me. He comfort me. The greatest fight of all. Stan Junich.